the Neptune blue, the nebula red. Now these devices look absolutely stunning in real life. Now, not just a good looking device, the Note 7 Pro also takes this entire build to the very next level. We are introducing Corning's Gorilla Glass 5. We are also introducing a Type-C port for the first time on the Note series. Uh, Redmi Note devices have had this. You can turn your Redmi Note 7 Pro into a universal remote. On the Redmi Note 7 Pro, we are going to use the Qualcomm Snapdragon 625. In Andhra Pradesh, one truck, which was surprisingly carrying all our 625 chips, got stolen. So because we lost all our 625s, with the Redmi Note 7, we are bringing in an all-new processor. Is none other than... An absolute phenomenal chip running on the Cryo 460 architecture. It's an 11 nanometer FinFET process. So it's not just more powerful, but it's also a lot more efficient. And yes, it is an octa core chip. And we've combined this with up to 6 GB of LP DDR4X. Now, you combine this, you've got a super powerful Cryo 460 CPU, an all new. Adreno 612 GPU, and up to 6 GB of DDR4X RAM, you've got an amazing gaming machine. So, we did talk about the fact that it's a 48 megapixel primary sensor, clubbed with a 5 megapixel depth sensor. Diving a little deeper, and looking at just the, the IMX586, now this is the highest resolution sensor ever put in a smartphone. It is a half inch stacked CMOS sensor. It is massive. It is the largest sensor, or one of the largest sensors ever put on a smartphone. In fact, it is almost 27% larger than even the iPhone XS Max. Moving on, the second surprise, the Redmi Note 7. The Note 7 is powered by the Qualcomm Snapdragon 660 AIE. No 625 because we lost them. It is a 2.2 gigahertz octa-core processor and it absolutely changes everything else in its price class. We have seen a couple of devices that launched with the so-called Snapdragon 660 processor. In fact, we found about four of them. 
And these range from about 15,000 all the way to about 25,000. And all of them claim that they're running a Qualcomm Snapdragon 660. So we decided to test how the Note 7 performs versus all of them. The Note 7 is on an average 10% faster than any of these devices. And you guys know why? It's because none of them were actually giving you a proper 660. All of them called out 660. They wrote about 660 in their product data sheets. Uh, you know, they had the media briefs given out saying it's a 660, but in fact, it was a 660 light. And you get 10% lesser performance with that. In fact, me fans, if you know anyone who bought any of these devices, you should go and ask them to ask the brand to get their money back, at least 10% discount. So with the Note 7, you get a proper high-performance Snapdragon 660. So what do you think should be the price of Redmi Note 7 Pro? Sorry? <laughs> OK, let me first clarify which memory configuration. So we have two memory configurations. The first one is 4 GB, 64 GB. I heard a 19 triple nine, sorry. <laughs> I heard a 9 triple nine. No, no, we can't do 9 triple nine. OK. So the price for Redmi Note 7 Pro The price for Redmi Note 7 Pro 4GB 64GB variant is going to be thirteen triple nine. And the price for 6 GB, 128 GB is going to be 16 triple nine. Really incredible specs, incredible price, and there is no comparison to other phones with similar kind of specs or even phones which do not have these kind of specs. So this is Redmi Note 7 Pro for all of you guys, all the key specs and the two price points. And then we have Redmi Note 7. Okay, guys. <laughs> okay, 3 plus 32. So yes, it's going to be launched at 9 triple 9. And the 4 GB, 64 GB is going to be launched at 11 triple 9. So the first sale of Redmi Note 7 is going to be next week on 6th of March at 12 noon on me.com, Flipkart, and Me Home stores. Redmi Note 7 Pro will come one week after that, starting 13th of March at 12 noon. <laughs> For years, whenever we used to have a Me Fan Meet, and we used to say, which is the product that we should launch, we used to say, Me TV. So we introduced Me TV last year. And in a short period of six months, we became the number one smart TV brand in the country. So happy to share that we are launching our, our third TV of the year here today with all of you guys. And we are launching Mi LED TV 4A Pro 32-inch. So what's new with this? This comes with the latest Amlogic 64-bit processor. Of course, this is an Android TV, which means you get Chromecast, you get Play Store, you get YouTube, you get everything. And you also get Google Assistant. And you have a Mi remote, a Bluetooth Mi remote that you can operate from any angle in the room. This is being launched at an amazing price, an honest price of 12999. And hence, we are launching the fourth product of the day. And to introduce this product, I'll show you a quick video.
start my workout playlist. So yes, this is splash proof. It has nine hours of battery life and is integrated with Google Assistant. And we're calling it Mi Sports Bluetooth Earphones. And this is being launched at only 14.99. So there are four things that we have launched today till now. Redmi Note 7, Redmi Note 7 Pro. We launch a new TV, 32 inch Pro, and we launch Mi Sports Bluetooth earphone. Front first? Okay. We'll do front first. Okay. So, Redmi Note 7 Pro is official now with Snapdragon 675 and Sony sensor with the 48 megapixel sensor. And it is priced at what? 14,000 rupees, which is the starting price for the 4GB, 64GB variant and the 6GB, 128GB variant, which is really great that we have a 128GB variant of the Redmi Note 7 Pro and it is priced at 17,000 rupees. So almost the same price of the like Redmi Note 5 Pro, which it was launched at. So I'll definitely try to get it as soon as possible. And I have to say the flash sales does suck, but I'll try my best. And the Redmi Note 7 is right now the most amazing value for money phone in my opinion. Like 10,000 rupees, Snapdragon 660, get the fuck out. Like it's great of a value for money phone. And the highest variant of the Redmi Note 7, which is the 4GB, 64GB variant, is priced at what, maybe 12,000 rupees. That's a great value for money too, Snapdragon 660. Like the full clocked Snapdragon 660, 2.2 gigahertz. So that is just great. And Xiaomi even launched a TV, which is the 32 inch TV. And it does come with the Google Play Store, Chromecast, etc. 12,500 rupees, great value for money. And even the headphones, well, this is gonna just go on sale or the pre-order stuff on 5 p.m. today. Make sure if you wanna buy it, like just go ahead and buy it. The headphones are gonna be like, I think pretty great value for money, like 1500 rupees for the Bluetooth headset of Xiaomi and it does come with Google Assistant too. So that is just great. This was a great launch. Huge thumbs up from me to Xiaomi. So let me know in the comments what do you guys think about today's launch of Xiaomi. So that is all for this video guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe to the channel down there if you have not yet. This is Tito from KDN Tech signing off for today and I'll be catching you guys in the next one. Bye bye now.